Hello, my sewing friends. Oh my goodness, the patterns I have to show you. I'm Jen, and this is the sewing room where I bring all the new patterns, even though I have a bunch. I do collect them, especially vintage ones, but I got some recently at the Joann's 4th of July sale. That's Independence Day here in the US and 99 cents simplicity you know that's that's hard to pass up especially when you look at a new pattern and you think i like that design but i have a pattern that i could probably use to adapt to that probably but for 99 cents it's like i don't want to go to the trouble so yeah maybe that's laziness on my part i don't know but anyway i got a bunch of new patterns so let me show you what i got I'm gonna start out with the newest to the oldest because I also got some on Etsy and then from a group on Facebook called uh, Pattern Destashing, which is dangerous for me to go on because inevitably I will scroll through and find some vintage pattern that I think, oh, I really like that. Or, oh, I remember that my mom made that for me. Or, oh, I remember I made that and I wanna frame it and put it on the wall. Mm, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay patterns. I got Simplicity 9273. This is just a t-shirt. And the reason I got it was because, first of all, it was 99 cents, but I wanted to see how it compares to um, the Galaxy T by, is it Forget Me Not that does that? That's a free pattern and it's basically this top. This is just a t-shirt with some sleeve variations. That's all it is. But uh, I do love a puffy sleeve. So I just thought, well, let's give this a try and just see how it measures up to the free one. Simplicity 8595 is just a bunch of t-shirt and tank dresses. It does have a cold shoulder option on one of them. And uh, you can go maxi or you can go uh, knee length, whatever you like. Just a very basic pattern, but a very uh, comfortable kind of lounge around the house kind of a dress or you could really just throw this on over your swimsuit in the summertime if you're going to the pool and you just want to have something on when you walk in and walk out this would be great for that simplicity 9223 is a little dress that well it's not little it's a dress <laughs> with short sleeves or sleeveless and i saw this uh, when did this come out? 2019? No, well, I guess it came out this year, 21. When it came out, I kind of went right by it because I thought, mm, I don't know, that, uh, those pleats are nice, but I looked at it again and I thought, you know what? I think that might be kind of cute. So I don't know. I look at it the first time and then I change my mind, who knows? But anyway, I thought that was a cute little dress. Simplicity 9137 is the first of a bunch of patterns that I got for um, my daughters. I was had them in mind when I bought them. And this is just a little sleeveless dress that buttons up the front to the waist. And so it has that front placket. I'm, I don't know if it's an actual functioning placket or if it's just decorative buttons. I don't know, I can't really tell from looking at this. It looks like a placket, but who knows? Um, the thing is, it's got this ability to, um, you can wear it in the front, like you can make it in the front with darts or and a wrap in the back, or you can turn it around and make it with the wrap in the front and the plain back. Options, I'm all about options. Uh, one of my daughters really likes wrap dresses. So I'm thinking that maybe this would work for her. So we'll see. Yeah. Simplicity 8691 is just the cutest little dress. And I immediately thought of a couple of daughters. I thought, oh, they would love that. I really love the band on the bottom of the skirt. Uh, there are two sleeve options, a little puff sleeve, and then more of a just below the elbow sleeve, like almost like a three quarter length sleeve, but not quite. So yeah, a couple of options there, but just a pretty little dress. How can you resist those? Oh, and this one doesn't even, oh, it must have a side zip because it looks fitted, but there is no zip up the back. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, 14 inch zipper, so yeah. Simplicity 9329 is a Mimi G pattern. It's one of her new patterns and it's very right now. now 
with the statement sleeve and it's uh, it's got a deep V in the back with a tie at the um, back neck, like at the shoulder, so that they don't, you know, the sleeves don't fall off your shoulders. But oh my goodness, the way this thing is made, it just is so pretty. And I thought that wrap is perfect for the daughter that loves the wraps. So um, I got it in two sizes um, in case, um, she's kind of at that break point with sizes. And I thought, well, somebody else might want it too. So I trace my patterns most of the time. So um, yeah, I'll have both sizes in case she isn't one and gets into the other one. This goes six to 14 and then 16 to 24. So it's that 14, 16 break point. And that's right where she is usually. And to be honest, that's where I am too. And I wish they would like go to six to 16 and then like 14 to 24 or, or higher really would be nice, but yeah. Oh, if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. My mother always used to say that. Simplicity 9288 is a Gertie pattern. The top is a wrap top and it uh, calls for jersey, but the skirt uh, calls for a woven. So yeah, this is just my oldest daughter's style. It's got a um, kind of like an extended shoulder, kind of a sleeve or a dolman sleeve option on the wrap. The wrap comes up really high, which I know she would like. And so, yeah, I have heard that with this pattern, you do need to extend the, um, the bodice a little bit on the top because it may not, it may hit you right at your waist. If that's okay with you, that's fine. But the way this kind of pattern is designed, I think I would want it a little bit longer. So I may do that. Got two sizes on this one too, but <laughs> you know what I did? I picked up two of the same size pattern. I meant to get two different ones like I did the other one, but oh well. I'll take it back and see if they'll trade me. Now I'm starting into the vintage reprints. This is from um, 1950s. It's a vintage reprint from Simplicity 87.99 and it's just a nightgown. That's all. I always need a new nightgown pattern. My mom loves this style. I love this style. I just, yeah, it's just a nightgown. It's got a cute little peasant top and then it's got, uh, you can put bows at the shoulders or a bow in the front. Uh, or you can even put elastic around like as an empire waist. I don't know. One of them shows um, elastic at the waist, but it doesn't. That's tying a belt on. That's There is no elasticized waist, but there is an empire. So anyway, there's that one. Simplicity 4178 is a bunch of hats from 1960-ish. Jackie O kind of time period. Um, wouldn't be Jackie O then. It would have been Jackie Kennedy back then. But anyway, you know why I bought this was because, you know, sometimes you think, I want a beret and I can't find one in the color I like or the shape I like or the fabric I like in the store. So I should make one, but I don't have a pattern for a beret. Mom, can you make me a beret? You know, honey, I need a beret for that outfit. I wish I had a pattern for a beret. Just so happens that I do. That's why I bought this. It's just uh, pillbox hats and berets. Really cute. Simplicity 8447 has been around a little while. It's the Rosie the Riveter overalls. I've seen Whitney of, uh, is it Whitney Makes? Um, she Her channel has been around for forever and she did a lot of quilting and a lot of uh, various kinds of videos, but she made these and I thought they looked so cute on her and I kept that in mind. When my youngest daughter saw this pattern, she goes, oh, make me these. And I said, okay, okay, I will. The cute thing about these that I really love is that you don't have to make overalls. You can make the trousers which have uh, the buttons up the side and you can make the shirt, but the shirt you can make it with a collar or with a hood, which I think is kind of cool. So yeah, a couple of options there. Um, boy, those boxy shoulders, 1940s sharp shoulders. Then, and when was it also in the eighties? Yeah, when those were. Then I got a couple of costume patterns and I'm going to start with Simplicity 8486, which is Snow White, the 1930s version. I got this for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, it is the 80 year anniversary of Snow White. 
but um, yeah, it's not Snow White as we remember Snow White. I have a traditional Snow White costume, but this is the 1930s version and it does include the hat. Well, my kids are such Disney fans. Four of them now live in Orlando near the mouse. Uh, and so there's a thing, I guess, where you can go to the park for the day and you can dress kind of um, in a way that makes you think of a character. You can't look just like the character, like you can't wear a costume, unless you're like five years old and you wear a Snow White costume and they clearly you're not Snow White, but you can't dress just like the character, but you can dress in a way that's kind of makes you think of the character, which is this is perfect for that. So that's one of the reasons I bought it. The other reason is I have this book by Matt Phelan and it's a, it's a graphic novel, basically, in the truest sense of the word. Um, he is an incredible artist and he did this wonderful, wonderful book. Wait, here's some of the illustrations. I just, I love the way that he draws. I do so much. And this is set in the 1930s, and it has to do with a woman who was, um, I can't remember if she falls asleep and then gets put in a store window, like at Christmas time or something like that. I don't know, it's got, it's just, it's really cool. And I met him one time and he signed it for me. And this makes me think of this, which is why, yet another reason why I got it. So there's that one, and then, do you have a child that is not a fan of Harry Potter? All my kids are fans of Harry Potter. So this is Simplicity 8723. You know what? When they want a costume for Harry Potter and they ask me or they have kids, if ever they do, and they ask me, can you make me a Harry Potter costume? I can say, yes, yes I can, because I have a pattern for that. So that's all this is. Um, I don't think you get the wand. No, you just get a shirt and the robe. Yeah. Okay, now let's get into the vintage ones. These came um, a couple from Etsy and then a couple from a Facebook group. So I'll start with this one. This is McCall's 3558. It is a Laura Ashley pattern. I had been looking at this pattern for a while because I collect Laura Ashley patterns and I thought, Oh, I love that. I love that sleeve. I love that that dress. It's just a big voluminous dress, but it has that beautiful belt. And I thought, mm, mm, I really want that. Well, it was like $15, $16 for the pattern. And then with shipping, it was about 20. And I thought, oh, it's just too much money. That's just too much money. I don't want to spend that on a pattern. Well, I was thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And finally I said, you know what? I'm going to splurge. And I did, and I got it. So I think I may have to make this. Mm, it's just too pretty not to make, especially in the way that it's shown with this. Um, it's a polka dot, I think. It's either a polka dot or a little tiny dot design, but um, it's just so classic, Laura Ashley. And that belt is just so pretty. It's a shaped belt, which makes all the difference. It's not just, you know, a regular. It gives the dress some shape. The other one I got from uh, Etsy. Where's my brain? It's Vogue 29.89. And I think I've shown you this before. I have this in a size 16, but my daughter Mia wants this green tunic top and she's about a size 10. And so this is a 12. This was the best I could do. And again, it was kind of expensive, but it was something specifically that I wanted. And I thought, I can't really figure out a way to size that other one down. I just, because it's um, a vintage pattern from the 1970s and the sizing was a lot different, um, I don't know, things were cut differently. And I just thought, I don't want to have to t work that hard. I just didn't. So instead of telling her no, I said, well, let me see if I can find a smaller size of that particular pattern. Unfortunately, I found a 12. So I think that'll work. I think we can make this work. So that's why I got that one. And then these last three came from the Facebook group that I have become a part of. It's called uh, Pattern Destashing USA. So it's only people in the US. And I think there are other groups for other parts of the world. 
So definitely check on your version of Facebook to see, but um, this is all kinds of people who go to estate sales or somebody dies that they know and has this stash of patterns and there are always all kinds of patterns to be had. So of course, I'm always looking and thinking, oh gosh, did, was that one the one that my mom made for me or did I make that or is that just cute or you know, whatever all kinds of reasons to buy more patterns. And in fact, I just bought some more today. Oh, I have to stay off of that that website, uh, that group in Facebook, because I'm not on Facebook that often anyway, but oh, I gotta stay away from it. You know, you just have to call a halt and go, okay, no more chocolate in the house because I'll eat it all. It's kind of like that. Don't be on that page because you'll buy all the patterns. Okay, Simplicity 7564 is adorable. This is from 1976 and it is a little, uh, kind of like a hoodie. It's like a cross between a hoodie and a tunic. Um, it's got kind of a nautical feel. Um, you can make it just as a tunic with a notched yoke or you can make it very nautical with the collar and um, the tie or you can just make it with um, a kangaroo pocket. So whatever you like, but I love that nautical thing. I am a sucker for a nautical uh, top or dress or anything, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So that's why I grabbed that one. I'm hoping I can actually make this one sometime soon. This is interesting because it doesn't call for knits. It's indicative of the time, but it says cotton types, denim, ticking, chino, polished cotton. You can do it in double knit, terry knit, velour, and lightweight wool. So I guess it does kind of reference knits a little bit, but pretty much it calls for wovens, which I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with that. Simplicity 6415 is a, um, a dress and a jacket from 1966. And the thing that grabbed me about this was that little jacket. The way it comes down, you know, and it has that little rounded collar. I just thought that was so cute. Um, this pattern was a mess when I got it. Yeah, I've taped it all up and, you know, uh, kind of tried to put it back together again, but it was a mess. The pattern itself isn't a mess, but the envelope was wrecked. I was torn up all over the place. So anyway, it's just a little shift dress underneath, which are a dime a dozen, but it's that jacket that I saw that I really liked. So I grabbed it, 1966. And the last one is Simplicity 8686. This is from 1970. And another little shift dress, but it's got the cutest little belt. This is kind of funny because, I mean, you know, can't I just put a belt on a modern shift dress? Of course I can. Would it be from 1970 in pretty good shape? No, <laughs> and I'm a collector. So I am uh, always gonna go for the, you know, the cool thing. And I, I don't know, these patterns, on Facebook Marketplace were like $2 maybe, maybe. And you do pay for shipping, it's first class uh, mail shipping. So it ends up being five or $6 for each one, but you know, for me it's worth it. Um, so the little Peter Pan collar on this, patch pockets and that little belt is just adorable. So those are my patterns from my most recent trips to, gosh, Etsy, Facebook, and Joann's. <laughs> if you've got any of these patterns, if you've made any of them, if you remember any of them, let me know. If you've posted on Instagram where you made them, I would love to see that. Or just describe them to me, I love that. Because you know, I love talking to you in comments. I am all about creating community on YouTube, so. Let me know and if you would like to see more pattern hauls from me in the past, I have a playlist that you can check out. So do that. And I think that's it for now for me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.